Welcome to the January vlog. Joe and I have had such a busy January. It's been really fun with our trip to Colorado and then a trip down to Connecticut. But it's been really sad because Joe's mom just passed away suddenly. So we've had a lot going on. This footage was taken while we were running errands one day on our way to Franconia in New Hampshire. The mountains are just breathtaking in this part of the country. We ended up getting about a foot of snow and it was just enough to make everything look so pretty. So I have this lettuce that we didn't finish that I'm going to bring out back and give to the rabbits and the deer and we'll see if they like it. Have you ever seen my so-called handmade life? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. Meryl recommends it too. Michelle is the host and she loves to knit sweaters. She's knit, I think, over 100 sweaters. And they're beautiful. And she is just really relaxing and calming. And I highly recommend this podcast. If you have a cat, like this. Maybe you understand. She is in my space all the time. Anytime I'm trying to work, she is either trying to climb into my lap or sit on my papers or sit on my project or sit on the laptop. She's relentless. We spent some time in Connecticut with Charlie while her mom and dad went away for a few days. Uh, she was so much fun. We took walks, we painted, we did some dance parties. We took her to her very first movie and she loved it. Each day while Charlie was napping and when she went to bed for the night, I would spend the time crocheting on my hydrangea stripes blanket. I didn't have the brain space to work on the, my new design, so I just decided that a simple crochet blanket using up my scrappy skeins, mini skeins that I'd gotten for Christmas, and just odds and ends of yarn, this would be a great way to get something finished. Uh, but without needing to concentrate a lot. I have all of the pieces knit up for the Baby Yoda sweater that I am knitting for my new granddaughter who's due to be born in April. The yarn I used was Knit Picks Wonder Fluff and it's super soft. Uh, there are lots of different pieces to this little cardigan and I just didn't feel like sewing them all together yet so since I have some time for this project it's on hold for a little while. Here's a good look at my hydrangea stripes blanket. Um, 
I've gotten a lot further on it since I've gotten home from Connecticut. It's been my sort of Netflix watching (laughs) project at night, again, when I don't need to concentrate on counting and uh, writing down each step of the way like I do um, on my own designs. So this has been a really nice break, and I like the way it's turning out. I'd like to talk about this new book that I just bought from Amazon called Watercolor with Me in the Forest by Dana Fox. I saw this book um, on one of my friends on Instagram had bought it, so I knew immediately I had to have it. It has beautiful forest animals, plants, flowers, trees, and just other woodland objects that and it shows you how to watercolor paint them the acorns especially caught my eye and i'll definitely be painting those soon i've been working on a secret project for a couple of weeks now Uh, i started it in colorado and here's the swatch that it all began with The yarn is beautiful. It's 50% wool, 50% cotton, called Mungo by Rosa Pomar. Um, This yarn is the perfect yarn if you don't love knitting with just plain cotton. I bartered with a friend to knit me this gorgeous shawl. It's called the Blutzenzauber shawl. And it's by Annika Andrea Wolk, W-O-L-K-E. I found the pattern on Ravelry. It was a paid-for pattern. And I used the yarn that I had naturally hand-dyed for my 2019 advent calendars. This was the final skein that everyone was able to open on Christmas Day. And I am so happy with this shawl. Thank you, Cindy. I love it. And that's not all. I also had my friend Carol knit me a pair of these Magic Toadstool mitts by Stone Knits. I had tried to make them several times and I just couldn't. And she also included these beautiful felted mittens and this adorable stuffed squirrel. You know me so well, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, my dear friend Amelia just a couple of days ago gifted me the Perfect Retreat Shawl Pattern by Susan B. Anderson. This is a gorgeous shawl that I'll be making using some Highland wool with alpaca as well as some hand-spun organic cotton. I think it's okay to mix fibers and sometimes even weights when you're knitting a project. I think this is going to be the perfect combination for this beautiful shawl and I plan to wear it to Squam in June. I'll also be using this beautiful Cozy by A Steady Hand and these are my favorite needles by Chowka. I really hope you've enjoyed this January vlog. I think that this may be the format that I keep from now on, but only if you like it. Please comment below if you'd like me to keep this format, or let me know if you prefer the old style podcast. Either way, I won't be offended. Ready to hear who won the giveaway? Congratulations, Eileen Hurlbert. Her favorite treat as a child was eclairs. You won! Please reach out to me and I'll get you your prize.